Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the book of Proverbs, Mishle Shlomo, the life sayings of Solomon. And we're in chapter 8 and we're reading from verses 27 to 32. So this is Lady Wisdom continuing her discourse and promoting her saying how wonderful the things that she offers are. And she's referring back to the fact that she was there right at the beginning of things, when the earth was created. She says, I was there when he established the skies and when he established it on the horizon. I was there when he put the clouds in the sky and deep, deep springs of water in the earth. There when he put the limits of the seas in place. And she says something really interesting in 8.30. She says, I was the worker who was there at his side. Some translations have the architect who was there at his side. I was the, the Hebrew word is Amon. I was one who was working. I was a work person. They were working together. But not only they were working together. It says that, that God constantly delighted in Lady Wisdom. Constantly delighted in what was being brought here. And actually that there was laughter. He was the way they were laughing together. What an amazing picture of there being laughter. You know, C.S. Lewis in his book, The Magician's Nephew, talks about Aslan creating the world and sings the world into being. And there's just such a sense of joy in his account of creation. And that comes across here in these words of Proverbs, of this idea of Lady Wisdom and the Creator God just laughing together at the joy that they are seeing coming together in the, in the making of all of these things, the heavens, the earth, the seas. And he says, uh, he says it was so happy with the world he created. He said, it is good. God was happy in his creation and rejoicing there with the people of humanity. And then she says simply, so if you follow me, you're going to have joy. You're going to have rejoicing. It's not going to be somber, somber, long faces, glum. There's going to be laughter. There's going to be joy as you walk with God in his joy over his creation. What an amazing promise today. We do well to listen to this and to take joy in all of the amazing things that God has created by his wisdom. Have a good day.